Armed with stickers in Belgium's national colors, these political activists are on a mission to hold their country together. Bilingual tensions are boosting separatist feeling here. One side speaks French, the other Dutch. The politicians seem to lurch from one crisis to the next. They're openly discussing a breaking apart of this European community founder country. Julie, David and Michael don't want that to happen. They're professional civil action organizers. They know that without a fight, Belgium could split up tomorrow. I feel very strongly Belgian and I find what's happening very sad because I think having various cultures is very enriching. Our country has three communities, three languages. This is where my commitment comes from, my feelings, a sense of being Belgian. There's definitely a risk with this crisis that people will stop understanding each other and vote for nationalist parties that aren't going to help things along one bit. One of the solutions would be to adopt a federal electoral constituency. This would mean that anyone in the country, whether they're in Flanders or Wallonia, could vote for a party or a politician of the north, the south or the Brussels region. It has been decades since Belgium had any national parties. For the elections on June the 13th, the Walloons can vote for French-speaking parties and the Flemings for Dutch-speaking parties. The parties and the media operate in each side's separate spheres in Belgium. For instance, a magazine's pro-Belgium sticker is given out in one language only, French. In Flanders in the north, the Flemish people speak Dutch. In the south, the Walloons speak French. The east of the country speaks German. The Brussels region is officially French-Dutch bilingual. Mixed areas, they're marked in red here, have a special status. The two openly separatist parties, the NVA and the Flams Belang, have 23 and 13 percent of the voters' support, respectively, according to opinion polls. This means that approaching 40 percent of the Flemish electorate could vote separatist. The head of the extreme right Flams Belang explains why he'd like to break up the country. Belgium is an artificial state. It is a living apart together of two people, Flemish and Walloon, which have continuing conflicts of interest, continuing um, different point of views, whether we talk about language or culture, whether we talk about social economical issues, justice, migration. We, on our point, say, let's make an end to that. The separatists are focusing their energies on French-speaking towns in Flanders. In the BHV constituency around Brussels, the French parts of bilingual signs have been defaced. The mayor of Versaimbeck Opem is worried about the prospect of an independent Flemish state. He underscores that the Flemish regional government opposes ratifying the Charter of Minority Protection. What we insist on is to be united with Brussels, because everyone there is protected. It's a legally bilingual city, isn't it? And of course, multilingual. BHV, Brussels Halvilvorde, is the only constituency in Belgium where the voters can choose between Francophone and Dutch language lists. And then six French-speaking communities near Brussels have a special status to help with their administration. Does BHV have to be sawn up according to language lines? What's the Belgian state's future? Federation? Confederation? To make the political debate more attractive, some of the region's more enterprising young women organized a beauty pageant, promoting anything that brings people together. We all like uh, good chips, beer and chocolate. I try to be bilingual. I'm originally a Dutch speaker, but I've got just as many friends who speak French, and I'm not that ready to let it all go. Isabel's message to anyone who wants to break up Belgium is, I really like my Belgium. Brussels, in our thinking, is a bilingual city, a bilingual city which is the capital of the future independent Flanders. The minister-president of the Brussels capital region, a French-speaking socialist, is revolted by any separatist inroads. 
Il est hors de question que It's Bruxelles... Out of the question. Brussels going over to those who would announce that tomorrow they would tear up Belgium. We find the First World War monument to the unknown soldier at the foot of the Column of Congress. A militant pro-monarchy patriot and pro-Belgium activist reflects on previous attacks on the country's integrity. Under the 1914-18 German occupation, the Belgian identity was thrown into doubt. It was the first time that there was any talk about a country which would become artificial. It was to try to create a split and set up two completely distinct identities, one Flemish, one Walloon. To understand the Belgian identity better, we pass through the Musée Royal des Beaux-Arts in Brussels to take in the immense painting by Gustave Farpers episode of the Belgian Revolution of 1830, which brought secession from the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. If separatism doesn't tear the country apart, Belgium will celebrate its 180th anniversary this coming September. The heart of this Belgian identity bloomed in 1830 with the desire for independence, with its liberalist ideas, which went with freedoms, freedom of expression, for example. And this was the will of all the Belgian provinces. It remains to be seen today if this spirit of liberty, of self-recognition, will be transposable in our modern world and into Belgium's future. The Stomp Café Festival welcomes musicians from either side of the linguistic barrier. A lot of my family live in Wallonia and in Flanders, so you can see family and music are common denominators. We got lyrics in at least two of our songs that are about tolerance and differences and that clearly refer to language problems. The lyrics are about Belgium, what people think about the political circus and the clowns sometimes in government. If the election in June creates another political impasse, the financial markets are expected to begin taking a closer interest in Belgium's colossal debt. The separation scenario is no laughing matter we hear from this academic expert. If you separate the debt, as was done in the case of Czechoslovakia, repartition it according to the population, the day following separation, Wallonia goes bankrupt. One of the rare associations with a mixed membership is B+. Its Dutch and French speakers propose a compromise. It is to split up the BHV constituency while also creating a constituency encompassing the whole of Belgium. We asked the association's president if he thinks Belgium will stay together. I'm convinced that technically Belgium will never break up, because there's always the problem of Brussels. The debt problem has to be settled. The problem of passive federality has to be tackled, which means also buildings which belong to the Belgian state. It's a shame it's come to this, like an old couple staying together just for money reasons. For it to be like this, I think, is the saddest thing about this country. Let Candice have the last word. She is Internet Voters' top choice so far in the running for Miss BHV. I don't feel either Flemish or Walloon. I'm of Flemish origin, but I speak French. I'm Belgian and that's all. If the country is split up, I will also lose my own origins.